It was business as usual here at the World Magic Cup, by which we mean it was extraordinary. Brian yeah. David Marshall, you've seen almost every great moment in Magic history. We've certainly seen one again today. Well, I mean, unseen. Mastery of the unseen. <laughs> again. Uh, just just unbelievable, uh, you know, you know, just how, how wonderful is it to see the emotion in these teams as they, you know, you know, they not only are getting into the top eight for themselves, for their teammates, but for their countries. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there are a lot of communities around the world that are, well, they've been shouting themselves hoarse for the last couple of hours. <laughs> We should take a step back and remind everyone that 32 teams set out at the start of today, having already got rid of 41. We started out with 73, 32 came back today, three rounds of limited, which was a really great limited format, by the way. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, team ba uh, Battle for Zendikar is sealed, so 12 packs, build three decks, uh, you know, and play at the end of that uh, three rounds of pool play, which is really un an unusual format in the competitive magic year uh, where where seating matters where where the players are are jostling for those top two spots to go into the top 16 and four more round four more uh, pools and three more rounds of pool play yeah so then we went into team unified standard pools a through D again the top two teams would advance and then we'd have a top eight oh, that's so all. just why don't we Say who the top eight are. So who uh, who have we got? Well, you know, uh, French national champion Pierre Dijon was just sitting in the chairs. Team France is through to the top eight. Okay, so a fantastic job by him because he looks clearly the best player on his team. But you were talking about Raph Levy as someone who, of course, is a World Magic Cup winning captain, saying, I actually like a lot of the French team this time round. And not only did he like them, but, you know, he helped them. That's mm. one, of the, one of the things Pierre was just talking to me about. He said, you know what? Uh, you know, I mean, it was a heartbreaker for Raf. Raf came within, you know, a couple places in a GP of being the national captain again this year. Uh, he and Pierre were tied at the end of the season at pro points, and uh, it came down to tiebreakers as mm. who would be there. But you know what? I mean, Raf is one of the great guys of Magic, mm. a Pro Tour Hall of Famer, and he worked with this team to make sure Pierre had everything he needed to get the French into the top eight. Well, they've done a great job. Let's stay in Europe. Let's go to Italy. We thought they were very strong coming in. They had a one-two punch, as many of the top teams did. In this case, Andrea Mengucci and the national captain, Marco Camaluzzi. Um, and then they really benefited from uh, really testing with the best. Yeah, there was a, it was a super team. Uh, you know, we, we see those for the Pro Tours all the time, but we don't always see them at the, the World Championship or the World Magic Cup. And in this case, Brazil, Canada, um, USA. USA, and Italy all worked together. They, they got together in a house and, you know, what, what a great, great experience for uh, William Pizzi and uh, Francisco Beferro. To, to get the benefit of working with Hall of Famers, Pro Tour champions, and of course, the two Pro Tour top eight competitors that you mentioned, Marco Camaluzzi and Andrea Mangucci from Italy. Who's in at three? <laughs> Austria. I mean, <laughs> what? Val well, Valentin Beckel was such a bundle of energy. He was so excited. He uh, is. I was just, I was just thrilled for him. Uh, you know, a couple of old-time Austrian players. Nicky Eigner, who's been winning Grand Prix in the 1990s. Yeah. Right, and then Christoph Alcantara and Sebastian Fiala Ibitz. They're they're a super strong team. They are, I think, workmanlike does them a disservice because, uh, but they, you know, they were saying we're not stars, we're just people who can play magic well. Uh, but they trust each other. Yeah. You know, they all just get on and they quietly and efficiently win matches. We've hardly seen them in across two days, but there's never been a point when they've been behind the curve for looking towards the top eight, and here they are. Yeah, and getting, getting those two guys back to the Pro Tour, but for Sebastian, this is his going to be his first Pro Tour when he goes to Atlanta. All right, uh, number four. Denmark. So the dream of back-to-back -back and the first two-time champion, very much alive for both France and Denmark. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, Mark Dang, Mark Mueller, and then, of course, uh, Dennis Lind and... Christopher Larson. Christopher Larson. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, and well done to Daniel Lin, because he must have felt a little bit kind of, well, in the nicest way, outclassed Pro Tour champion, World Magic Cup champion. Pro, pro, what, a, but, what a year for Martin Gang. You know, we've, we've talked so much about Martin Mueller this year, but Martin Gang, he
He wins a Grand Prix. He wins a Pro Tour. He won a Mox. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, and now, and now he has the opportunity to become uh, a two-time. Uh, World Magic Cup champion uh, for the for, country. For, for the yeah. country, yeah. Amazing. All right, so uh, so far we've gone France, Italy, Austria, Denmark. That's Europe all the way. This isn't the European Championships. This is the World Magic Cup. So let's let's spread things out geographically a bit. Who's well, next? This is Thailand, and this is just right. what an amazing story. Yeah. Uh, you know, I talked to to, uh, to the Thai national champion, right, Vera Pat Cyrilant Voracle. Yeah. And. You know, those guys, you know, they, they were qualified to come here. And not that they, there was any ever doubt they were going to come here, but it's it's a long trip. It's an expensive trip. And the Thai Magic community got together, ran a tournament, you know, and all the entry free fees went to pocket money and oh, uh, fantastic. hotel rooms. So and the Saturday night we made the top eight dinner is basically the rest of the Thai magic community. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So good, so good. And well done to them. Uh, they're in, they will be one of the underdogs, but so will this next team. Yeah, Guatemala, uh, last year's Spirit Award winners. <laughs> Guatemala, they, uh, they're they in sixth place right now. Uh, what, what, a, what a great story. And, you know, a team that's just constantly striving to, you know, improve their finish at the World Magic Cup. Right, and yes, obviously the, their first top eight as well, and tremendous work by them. Um, I'm going to miss out the next team. Sure. Let, let's, let's go straight for the biggest name generally that is in the top eight, and this is the one team that really kind of worked out in real life as it should have done based on paper, because they looked like the best team in the room, and they're still here, Japan. Yeah, they, they survived the great culling. Hmm. <laughs> Because that, that's what this has been, you know, uh, you know, day one, Canada, Japan, fall uh, by Canada the wayside. Canada, USA. I'm, Canada, yeah. I'm sorry, Canada and the USA right. fall by the wayside. Day two, uh, again, big name teams falling by the wayside. But in the end, it's Japan of the of the superstar teams that makes it through. Yuya Watanabe, Kenji Samura, the Hall of Famer, Ryuji Tamada, the Pro Tour finalist. Yes. Here they are. And uh, you know what? Be scared, World Magic Cup competitors, because Team Kaiju is here. <laughs> right. So Japan is through. And then we spent a very, very, very long time in the feature match area yeah. working out who was going to be last. Was it going to be Greece keeping the dream alive of the Greece-Denmark rematch in the final? Or would it be Scotland, who had come into the day barely like Greece had last year as a bottom seed, but had then aced their sealed deck exam this morning to become a number two seed? Which meant that when it came down to the final game, Scotland or Greece would make it in as the last team. What happened? Well, it, it was an unbelievable match. It was Scotland who made it through, mastery of the unseen, Mantis Riders, and siege the day. <laughs> Outpost right. siege mon uh, and C Citadel C siege in concert, churning out creatures and churning out counters yeah, have for a look at, the Scottish team. Have a look at this. That is Team Scotland. And the thing is, they did not know they were in. They knew they'd won, but not that that was enough because they had to see Italy win their match over the Philippines. And do you know how many Scottish people there are in this room this weekend? Four, and they were all in the feature match area. So who was gonna tell them that this not, was for everything? Not the coverage team. No. Nope. Stephen Murray said, I tried to trick the coverage team into telling me nope. what. No, nothing at all. And so the explosion of joy when they knew that it wasn't a Pyrrhic victory over the Greeks, but that it was the absolute pinnacle of any of their magic careers. Stephen Murray, what a great captain, and they're in, and they're in with a shout. Sure, and you know, this is the second trip to the top eight for Stephen Murray mm. at the World Magic Cup, his first time as the World Magic Cup captain for, for Scotland, and uh, you know, it was amazing to me, you know, as quickly as that turned to uh, cheers of joy, it, it turned to like this very choked up emotional state for Stephen Murray as we sat in chairs and talked. Uh, just, yeah. I, I really enjoy these guys and uh, looking forward to seeing what they do tomorrow against a uh, pretty stacked team of 
you know, Japan, against the Denmark team, against the Austrian team, against the Italy team, against the France team. You know, there's some pretty big name players here. Well, maybe this is the year of the underdog, and it's Thailand, Guatemala, and Scotland, three of the semi finalists. You will see it all happen tomorrow because we will show you every quarter final, one after the other. We'll hold games for you where we can, and you will see every match won and lost live on the stream. We thank you for an amazing day too here. It's just been crazy stuff, especially the back end. And then it always is, because as we said at the start, the World Magic Cup, business as usual, is the unusual. Join us for more of the unusual. And the unseen. And the unseen. Tomorrow, Brian David Marshall, Rich Hagen, on behalf of everyone here, saying bye.